Hey, I'm William. Today we're going to show you how to test and replace the main PCB on your LG front load washer. If you're experiencing problems such as the washer not starting, inconsistent cycles, or strange error codes, it might be time to inspect or swap out this crucial part. Now before we jump in, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful appliance repair guides. Let's get started. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. For today's work, we'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and a multimeter to get the job done. Also, please remember that safety comes first. Always disconnect your front load washer by unplugging it or switching the breaker off. With the power disconnected and our tools in hand, we are ready to start troubleshooting. We're grabbing our Phillips screwdriver and removing the two mounting screws securing the top panel to the washer, located at the back corners. We're sliding the top panel to the rear of the washer, lifting it up, and then setting it to the side. We're plugging the power cord back in and we are going to look for an illuminated red LED on the main control. If the red LED is illuminated, we will need to check for voltage at the 8-pin 6-wire connector going to the display control. With our meter set to DC voltage, which looks like a V with a dotted line, we are testing from the red wire with our black probe to the orange wire with our red probe. We should read 12 volts DC. We're also testing from the red wire with the black probe to the yellow wire with our red probe, and we should see 5 volts DC. The LED is not illuminated or the DC voltage is not present, like we see here, the main control needs to be replaced. Since we found the main control has failed, I'm going to show you how to replace it. We're unplugging the power cord, grabbing our Phillips screwdriver, and we are removing the pressure sensor mounting screw and letting the sensor hang to the side. We're going to the back of the washer and removing the one screw from the main control housing securing it to the back panel. With these removed, we can grab our flathead screwdriver and use it to release the locking tabs of the main control housing cover. The cover can be rotated out and set to the side. Now we're going to slide the main control towards the center of the washer, then pull it away from the back panel. We're rotating the control to be able to clearly see the wire connectors. This would be a good time to take a picture of the connections before removing them. It helps with reassembly. We're disconnecting the wires from the main control. Here's the old main control and here's the new one. If you've already got one, great. If not, you can pick one up at AppliancePartsPros.com. We are inserting the wires into the main control, then sliding it into place on the back panel. We are securing the main control cover to the main control, then installing the mounting screw we removed from the back panel. Now we're mounting the pressure sensor onto the cover with the Phillips screw we removed. We're grabbing the top panel, sliding it into place, and securing it with the screws that we removed at the beginning. Don't forget to plug your power cord back in, and with that, we are done. Great job tackling your LG front load washer repair. We hope this guide made the process smoother for you. If you have any insights or stories about your repair experience, we'd love to hear them in the comments below. And remember, if you need a new main PCB or any other part, you can easily find it on AppliancePartsPros.com. Most orders arrive within just a few days. Thanks for letting us be a part of your repair journey, and we look forward to helping you with your next project.